Well, you might be able to tell by the sound, but we're here at Macaw Mountain. It's uh, ten dollars a person. We're gonna go in and find out. I think it's a trail and boardwalk. Yeah. Well, the trail is uh, about a mi kilometer and a half, they say, so about a mile. We're going to take it. And... Oh, sounds like they might be in, or looks like they might be in cages. Yeah. I don't know. I yeah. don't like that too much. <laughs> a barrio uno. There's like parakeets here. The parrots. Poor guy. They have the front door. Well, no, senor. Hola, periquito. Periquito. Come on, come Wow. This is for uh, breeding. Don't feed them. Don't touch the wire. Breeding aviary. Hopefully, it's part of the uh, conservation effort. We saw the ruins of the. Uh... Whoa! <laughs> They're trying to bring them back. It looks like they've been successful. So. to get to be free so please don't talk to them Take some pictures of this. This talks about the uh, preservation efforts. So over the top of this video, I'll put some pictures so you can uh, pause the video if you want to read about it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear me, but these are the great green macaws. The, the uh, first birds were scarlet macaws. Well, these have uh, green and blue predominantly instead of the red. flower along the pathway.
I guess the, these are the four R's of the uh, purpose of McCall Mountain. Uh, rescue, rehabilitation, reproduction, and reintroduction. So the birds that we look at are in, you know, one of these four, in here for one of these four reasons. Now look at, at this thing I hear where the incubators are and there's uh, I guess 10 weeks and each one of these pictures is a week you can see I think week 7 they start to get the colorful feathers and it looks like at week 10 they're uh, full grown amazing for such a large bird In this area, they're a lot quieter. <laughs> Looks like you might be molting. It might be like a not quite mature. They're stressed. Stressed, it says. They oh, live in bad. a bad condition. With them in bad condition. Oh, somebody had them as a that, pet? Yeah, I guess. So, oh, that's why it says this. Having it as a wildlife, as a pet, it's a bad idea. Yeah. It gave them stress. Hola. Como se llama? Hello. In Espanol. Hola. 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 There's two resident wild uh, scarlet macaws here. They, they make the nest for them, for the ones who can't fly. Is that up there wild or that is? I am. He's taking two out for us. Two different kinds. Scarlet and a green. No. Bueno, sí, últimamente la verde está ahora. La verde sí se ha vuelto un poco más agresiva también. Do they get along well? Y se llevan entre ellas. No. No. Eso no. Por eso se colocan separados. That's why they they change them, see? She wanted to take the tail. Pero no pueden volar. No. Eh, no tienen fly. peleas y pues eso es peligroso. Que so it's green, blue, blue and red. They say they fight. Mm -hmm. And they can be a fatal fight. Yeah, it's probably for territory instinctively. Okay, thanks guys. Bye bye.